What's up, everybody? We're getting ready to start an awesome night of just analyzing and overanalyzing some stuff about Spellbreak. So if you guys are into that, I'm excited because we're going to be doing the rune tier list tonight. Uh, we're getting ready to start it up. If you guys don't know about Zen and T-Fowl, uh, Zen is uh, basically the guy that helps uh, organize the most prominent competitive scene for Spellbreak. Uh, they're just a very, very well-rounded uh, community and a very, they run awesome tournaments. They're doing the Master of Elements tournaments and um, just just really the best of the best players show up in those tournaments. Uh, like I said, Zen runs those things. He runs most of the scrims and the servers over there. So he has a really cool perspective and is gonna offer some really cool insights for uh, these runes and seeing where we place them. T-Fowl is pretty much like on the top of the top competitive player list every time and every tournament he's finishing like high up in the ranks. And I can tell you personally, every time I've ran into T-Fowl, I pretty much either leave wanting to break one of my peripherals, which doesn't happen very often for me, or like questioning my whole view on spell break. Like I usually, Try to pick up a lightning gauntlet after I run with T-Fowl because he, if I'm not mistaken, he is just, he makes lightning seem insane. If you all disagree with any of the tier list, I, first of all, appreciate your input and thanks for checking it out. Second of all, I would love for you guys to join in the conversation in the chat because like I said, the more we have, the better we get to a closer, like an actual good rating from all y'all. So I want to hear everybody's voices, even if they disagree. And, uh, and thirdly, I just want everybody to know that's watching the video that this is not just me ranking and not just me and Zen and, and T-Fowl, whoever's out some voice chat, but it's the chat as well. We're all together. We're as a community, we're trying to rank these things. So hopefully this turns out great. Uh, hello, I'm Zen. You might know me or not from Element. Um, I'm the owner of the competitive Discord. I am a conduit man, so I have a bunch of experience with runes, and I have some strong opinions. Yeah, uh, what's up? I'm T-Fowl. Uh, I play Spellbreak competitively on Element, and uh, I play a lot of classes. I've experienced a lot of classes. Muffin, what's up, dude? How you doing? Oh, um, fine. I'm very average. Not good, not bad. Here we go. Yeah. I think, <laughs> how long have you been playing, Muffin? Alpha, like broke it down uh, into three different categories to try to figure out basically uh, where the string slides in each of these rooms. The first one we got is utility, and utility I'm basically thinking is how useful it is. Is it, it, it how how many situations can you use the rune and come out on top? The second one we have is combat mobility, which I think kind of is self-explanatory. It's how well does the rune perform during combat to give you an advantage on your opponent. Travel, and that's basically just out of combat movement. How, how well does it let you get either across the map in order to collect all your mana vaults and get a, an advantage on having really good loot or getting to you know high vantage points so that you can see where everybody's at and kind of keep yourself in a, a good position during fights. So, Zen, best run of the game. Shadow step. Shadow step from Zen, all right? Easy. T foul. Favorite. Uh, shadow step. Shadow step. Okay, is this unanimous? <laughs> All right. Okay, so y'all heard it first. You heard the picks. Uh, we're going to start with Wolf's Blood. Zen, you, you're so, ever picking Wolf's Blood up, dude. This is the thing. I, I used to like rune swap a whole bunch, and Wolf. Yeah, I, I would pocket wolf. It, it's, it's really good. Like you can you can see behind walls. Obviously, that's what it does. Um, and you can really survey a situation. Like you're probably not going to get third party if you know where everyone is. With wolf's blood, if you got an active dude and they try to reset or hide or anything like that, it's such a good finisher. If I was running spell slinger, yeah, hundred percent, I could definitely see me running wolf's blood just for like engages and stuff. But I don't know. If I'm picking it up, like if I've only got one chance, one rune, I don't know if that's my rune, personally. I'm gonna speak from a standpoint of using Spell Slinger with Rune Swap. Mm -hmm. So I do think that Wolf Blood is definitely like one of the best runes you could swap in the game with Spell Slinger on Conduit mm -hmm. because you could just swap, see where they are, and then go fight with your other rune. In Spell Break, you can make things work, but we have to rank them considering like how effective they are overall, like through all the builds and everything. I think for utility, I'm gonna give it an A. Cause okay. it's it's solid, 
but you you can have another rune charged. Mm. You could use something else, you know. Mm. I agree. I agree. All right, T Fal, what do you think, man? S tier. S tier coming through the S tier with Wolf's Blood. I think I'm gonna go with A too. I was thinking high B, and I, I, I'm I'm nudged up to A here. A A. All right, we got two more A's. All right, we're gonna set it alone on A right now. After it's all said and done, we're gonna see what they're ranked overall. So don't get too upset yet. My whole thing with Dash is like I'm a conduit man, right? So I have a bunch of charges. It's not just omnidirectional, it's also like squiggly, you know? Like it yeah. follows your movement for yes. that whole second. Yes. And it's nasty, bro. Like you can really confuse someone with that. Oh yeah. For pure mechanics, like I think it's a really good rune in fights and out of fights. Uh, oh yeah. Both travel because of the, the low cooldown and, mm. uh, and combat. I've seen a lot of people in chat and I think we need to address this because I'm seeing people that I, that I agree with and respect saying that it is a great rune and a lot of the things that we're saying it should be classified in mobility, combat mobility and travel. So I'm going with A, Zen's going with... For utility, I gotta go B. B, and t -Fail's going with... Low A tier. Low A tier, all right, all right. You know what, I think that there's only one, like, one outlier, Sire, I don't know what you are, bro. <laughs> but I think I think we're all pretty, pretty much like teetering between B and A, and I'm seeing a little bit more weight on the B side, a high B for Dash. You guys, everybody knows it in their heart, a high B. Don't forget it. We're ranking flight on utility. Oh my God, let's go right now. t -Fowl, please enlighten us, man. What are you thinking about flight? I think mm. it's better in the other categories. So I'm probably gonna go with high C, low B here. Okay. There's nowhere to rotate to avoid damage, but up. Yeah, and the flight rune it, it just does that, and so I feel like that is definitely like a utility. If I'm saying that that's its only utility, I'm probably gonna go B. Okay, all right, so we'll go with the low B. But we need to hear from you guys in the chat. Let's hear what you guys got to say. Everybody, what whatever you rank flight for your t utility, I want everybody to put their their ranks in the chat right now. I think that the Bs have it, man. I think that it's actually a low B, high C. All right, here we go, Featherfall. When I think of Featherfall, I think of combat instantly. What I'm talking about is you get above someone and then you zap them, but mm -hmm. that's kind of combat. I, I don't really know how much utility Featherfall has apart from grabbing high ground. I don't think it has any utility. Probably D, C. Probably D. I don't know. I don't feel like it's useful at nah. all. I've only seen it used effectively with two different situations. If you play a stone shaper, if you use feather fall, you shoot up, you can use that skill to then shoot back down really quick. And the second way is the way that I've seen Gadlik do it. And he's actually done it with Pyromancer and able to use like feather fall plus firefly, really traverse the map really well, and then get really good engagements from being over top people and them just not being aware that he's there whatsoever. It's either a very low C or a high D. I don't know if Gadlik wants to say anything or not about it. I actually think that it has a high A utility. If you go up to top of one of the Halcyon statues or you go up on top of the, uh, the mountains to the east of Halcyon, you can max out your jump, you can feather fall, and then you can levitate cap without resetting your mana. So you wait until you have like one or two mana left, you let that levitate go, and you continue to do that. It surpasses the range of wolf's blood if yeah. you're using as a surveillance rune. Yeah, it works really good to, to cross the map, put you in great surveillance, put you in good engagement. But once you get in the engagement, if you can't finish it quick, it's almost like your rune's dead. I think that I've settled on C because of what Gadlik said. Yeah, I think I think that that makes me want to bump it up too. All the right. Surveillance, I didn't consider that. Maybe C, maybe C. Uh -huh. The ends with C, t -Fow. I still think it's D. Okay, t -Fow on the D. All right, everybody in the chat, what we got? When I post this on the Reddit and everybody calls me dummy, you guys have to back me up, all right? Defend me. All right, here we go. The next one is uh, invisibility. Ooh. Big utility room. Big, Ooh. big, big. Hey. Let's see what you got. S tier, S -tier. From easily, <laughs> easily S tier. It's easily the best utility rune in the game, honestly. Clutch, Clutch reses. Res. You could get free rotations without them seeing you, mm -hmm. and you could you could literally just uh, camp a final circle in like a competitive tournament if there's enough like space. It, the only downfall is that you can now be tracked from mm -hmm. Wolf Blood with it and tracking. 
So like, yeah, I've always been able to track it really well, and even even lately, it's been a little bit more difficult. So I think it got even stronger. Um, and as far as utility, I think that it's pretty much the best. If not, it's tied for the best. So uh, I'm definitely I'm sitting at an S as well. I'm going with S. Uh, so it's a unanimous S across the board. I see the chat. Everybody's saying S. Shadow step. Finally, let's go. <laughs> Shadow step. <clears throat> All right. Let's so, hear it, dude. Lay it out. Yeah. So with the thing about Shadow Step opposed to Dash is if you have a third party coming and you just you pull off like a beautiful Shadow Step, there's some things you can do with like sorcery canceling where they think that you went in that direction, but you're actually stationary. Like there's really some cool mm -hmm. shadow step text. Being able to reposition all together, I would consider pretty high utility. And uh, I mean, I, I personally, I think I'm gonna rank it, rank it S. I think I'm honestly gonna go A on utility. A little less than invis, but it's, it's such a good rune. Reset potential is really good, but because it is now a dash rather than a teleport so you can't teleport like through <laughs> firewalls uh, forgot about that. and stuff like i mm. think that it, it's an a now a from everybody in the chat we're gonna put shadow step at the a rank baby let's go we're gonna move on to spring step low key one of my favorites i'm gonna give it a generous c a generous C. Generous, These are just conduit players generous, out here, man. Listen to this. Generous C because you could you could you could do the cheeky reses with it. It feels like a not as good dash to me. And I don't and that's even being generous. Like I don't even know if I want to compare it to dash. Low C. Uh, Zim, what you I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go D, bro. Uh probably C. C. Alright. C it is. Spring step teleport. Oh my gosh, man. So go. much potential, dude. I agree. All right. Yeah, All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, everybody, just act like you had too much to drink and you just forgot that, that it's a little bit ugly and that it, it has an invalid target. This rune is perfect. Okay. It never messes up. I go with A. I'm, I feel comfortable going with A with T-Fowl. I, I don't see any reason why it's not at least an A. If, like, oh, when yeah, we were talking sure. about sh Shadow Step um, and invisibility and we considered like being able to reset during fights and reposition mm. utility then TP might be the king of that situation you guys I think we are all settled on A in the voice chat what do you guys think so far you could pop it and then just swap to another rune and it'll cancel it so they think you're coming back Ooh. but you just you just keep on going and they're like where'd they go why didn't they chrono back uh -oh. also but you you could do Chrono Master reses. That was just recently found in the community. So. Oh man, you guys. Because so this of is Chrono why Res. we have T -Fal. I did not even. Oh my gosh, that sounds incredible. I've because of all those things, I think I think it's S tier with Invis. Oh, I, There's also a uh, a recovery tech that you could do with Chrono, where if you are on HP and you just spam yourself with fireballs. And then you chrono, like you get all that health back, and then you're also getting recovery. In terms of utility, chrono might be the best. I mean, it's up there with Invis for me, personally. I think I'm gonna go A. But uh, I think it looks like so far we got 58% in the chat says S. Uh, I say S, Tfal says S, and Zen says A. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on S. I think it means overall, we are at a S rank by the majority. So we're gonna start back at the front with Wolf's Blood. Uh, but now that you can see Invis, I think it's a bit better. Oh yeah, yeah. So, especially since the speed boost, like, I don't know, having all that knowledge while fighting in a big fight or like just a small one, I think that it is a B tier combat rune because you could easily like i feel like the only way it would work in combat is if you swap with another rune yeah on like if if someone has stone gauntlet you're just getting hit all you really have is your levitate there yeah uh you're not dodging any frost snipes with it c from t foul a b from zen and i'll go with the low c okay c and d there's six people that say c six people that say d t foul and i both said c and zen said d d all right, man, I think that makes by one vote, C is the majority. Let's move over to Dash when we're thinking about Ooh. combat mobility. S tier? S tier. Just, just <laughs> S tier. <laughs> S tier, Best, that's it. The, you could uh, use Dash to take exiles. So you could reposition while taking an exile from your Dash mid-fight oh. to get pots. So you could just Dash, Curve, and 
press the exile button at the same time and you'll you could you could exile behind a rock without them even knowing where you are it's definitely yes the only hesitance that i had was saying it's the best combat rune. yeah uh we'll get well, i think we could get more into that when we talk about shadow stuff everybody in the chat we actually have the uh, i think this is the first ever unanimous poll so far i uh, completely all right. s everybody now this is flight and um i mean i don't think that it's on par with shadow step or dash just because of how the cooldown is so much shorter with those runes i like i said earlier i use it offensively more than people would would think that i'm going to and it often gives me the advantage and the surprise during fights to reset or just being able to get the distance you need to um, vert either vertically get the frost shot or horizontally if i had to rate it i would go with the high a i'm gonna have to go b it has the long cooldown like you mentioned um and also it has like a little wind up before mm. you actually start flying it's just prone to getting frost sniped mm. when you're like mid flight uh, i'm gonna probably go with c say there's five people at grit field fighting mm -hmm. the the problem with flight for me i feel is that you once you go up i feel like you're the center of the entire fight everyone's gonna be shooting at mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. It's good for repositioning, but like I think the trade-off of you getting hit and having to use pots during a fight when there's not that many on the map is is not good. I'm seeing a lot of C's and B's and A's, and it seems like putting in the middle would be the best bet. Uh, I like how this one is all over the place. It's definitely like a community favorite, the flight room. So yeah. you're going to get a lot of different opinions here. It's, it's cool to see. Combat mobility with Featherfall. Oh, D tier. Okay, all right. We've talked about Feather all a little bit. I'm going to straight up go with D2. I, I'm it's definitely garbage, but I, I'm speaking from a conduit standpoint, and it's like, okay, you can really beam the crap out of someone from that angle. That's just conduit, so I, I'm with you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say D, like, honestly. Okay. okay, I actually think it's, like, this is going to be weird, but I think it's a B plus, A minus. In a field, it's a D. 100% but if you're north of Halcyon in those in those castles that are like towers or if you're if you're over in the mountain it gives you that combat ability to move up those mountains a lot of people don't realize that you can also cancel featherfall it's like 0 0.7 of a second into it so you can actually partially go up you can use a sorcery to cancel and um, you can also attack out of it. So you're not stuck in the air, um, like a lot of people think you are. So it, it has a lot of more options than people think. Uh, okay, uh, well, the poll just ended. It looks like we do have a majority from the chat. We have two votes for D and five votes for C. So counting in all the votes from the voice chat, that makes four overall for D and six overall for C. You featherfall junkies in the chat. You Today's a victory for you. Rejoice. <laughs> <laughs> Invisibility. I think this one's got surprising combat mobility, man. So the I think it's just really good in combat, especially if there's like a really, really big fight going on. Because mm. there's a, like everyone's trying to like figure out what to track and they they have a lot of things going on in their mind. I don't feel like people will track an invis player rather than someone that's right on them. Early game in fights, I think it's okay, but late game, I think it's a lot better. I think it definitely deserves the S tier for utility. For combat mobility, I don't think it's the greatest in the world, but I do think it's stronger than a lot of the other ones. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say with B. I think, I think B too, maybe like a high B. Low A. Low A. All right, it looks like we have eight votes going with A. So it looks like t is right on the right track here. Um, it looks like overall we have nine votes for uh, A, three votes for B, and one vote for S. Somebody loves invisibility. I see you out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I don't. Oh. <laughs> Shadow step. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Easy S. Easy S. 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 S, you guys. Combat mobility. Shadow Put step. Front of dash, too. Outbreak exists, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And you have four, if you're conduit, you have four charges of shadow stuff. Like, it's just. Oh, gosh, that's just nasty, dude. Oh, my God. But hell yeah, dude. We got 10 votes in the chat. All 100% rank S. The boys in voice all say S. I don't think we even had a debate about it. Spring step can be a really good, the floor is lava rune. Like, you can, you can pretty much keep yourself off the ground and avoid a lot of that damage. Being able to get that quick little jump over top 
and have a really like precise smack to their head with like a toxic slap or a boulder or a fireball. And I would say, in my personal opinion, I gotta rank it either a high A or low S. I, I'm I'm expecting these conduit boys to laugh me out of the room, but let's hear let's hear what they gotta say. That that angle that it gives you for the fireballs, it mm. does feel pretty nasty. It feels very satisfying, and it feels like a match made in heaven. Like yeah. it, it's literally it, it's it's pretty great. Uh, I got fireballed to death by Megaverse with his spring step the other day. It doesn't give you any horizontal potential, which is huge in a fight. Like sometimes you need to break the gap or sometimes you need to widen the gap. Um, lightning sorcery exists. You, you can't get out of it with spring step. And for those reasons, I say B tier. I'm gonna go with high eye actually, because and it's really hard to hit because like they go up almost instantly. It's yeah. easier to hit them right as they land and they could get a few shots on you while yeah. they do that while you only get like one shot off on them uh, when they land. Every single person in the chat is landing on A. You definitely need at least spring step. Like there's like three main combat runes and you know, you definitely need it. So I think yeah. A is pretty good. When we ranked CP for utility, we um, considered it to not be broken. Teleport works all the time. So consider that when we make these choices here. So, so I think TP, is a really solid combat rune just being able to like position if you play it with fluency it's really good so say you're using it in a huge fight big end game you tp right out of zone get ticked for all your health i think that's gonna keep it in b for me actually i'm gonna put tp on a just because so flight you're probably gonna take damage when you're when you're using that mm -hmm. like if they have lightning or frost but TP, you are getting across the map without taking any damage. If you're conduit, you have four charge. So you can just double TP and then continue zapping them. And you can really stay ahead of the fight. I got to go with probably a, a mid to low A. Definitely needs to be above flight. Change my vote. I'm going to change it to, to A. Okay. A. All right. We'll put it at the, the back of A. So we know that it was a, it was a close to B. Um, but if if Tacos uh, made a mistake and, and voted on the wrong one, then we're just going to fix that. You could get hit by a stone slam for 45, stick it, deal even more damage to them, and then just chrono back all that health. I've got probably 100 clips of people triggering it and me waiting for them to come back and just sniping them because the yeah. movement's not there. The utility's great, and if you're smart and creative, it works. But mobility... I gotta go with D. Personally, nah. I gotta go with D, man. I got to. I'm, I'm gonna say C actually because of the point I brought up earlier for mobility. You could uh, you could just cancel it, and I think if people yes. use that tech a bit more, because it, it's kind of it's kind of difficult with the combat mobility tier. Like you want to just talk about how good it is in combat with that almost. Mm -hmm. So I, I will say, um, if you're fighting someone and they use Chrono. It's very easy because it has no mobility right. to just run away from them. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> don't engage them and then you don't lose. If it's mobility and even just combat in general, I think both of those coming together, I want to give it like a like a low B, maybe even C. Okay. All right, you guys, you heard the input. Six votes for D. Uh, Tifa voted C, which brings that up to five. And Zim voted B. That brings that up to three votes. So it looks like it's going to be D. Very close, almost to C. Don't hate on us, you guys. Chrono still got an S rank. It's not going to be the lowest. Everybody chill. Um, all right, we're moving down to travel, though. All right, Zenny boy. Down to Wolf's Blood for travel. Okay. So this is an out of combat movement. For everybody in the chat, travel is basically how well does this rune help you out when you're not in combat, moving across the map, I have chased down someone with double TP with Wolf before. I don't know if they were just bad and they were messing up their like TP length. It's really good for like hunting down prey, which mm. really fits the Wolf theme. Oh uh, yeah. I think the, yeah. All right. I think that is it does have a speed boost and, I, and it is a significant speed boost. And not only, only does it help you track people that are trying to escape from you or whatever, um, but while you're moving across the map and, you know, trying to get to Mana Vaults or whatever to get the loot, you feel a lot more safe, and we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of really experienced and great players in the chat hanging out right now. So I really appreciate y'all helping me make this, so the whole community can be like, listen, this is the right thing. And at 67%, we have six votes 
for B, and it looks like B. All right. And I don't think this one's gonna be a, a pretty fun one to talk about in terms of travel. Uh, Cause like Dash, as you can see, is already an S tier combat mobility rune. It, the cooldown is so quick that you can just consistently dash over and over to, to get across the map. It's almost as strong as it is inside of combat. I'm gonna have to land with like a medium to low A. I'm definitely gonna say A as well. Cause it's definitely not flight or teleport so it can't be s when those runes exist muffins landing on a it was literally a one vote difference you guys eight people voted for s we had nine votes for a all together we got flight this then i want i want to hear what you're gonna say man because i you already know i love flight <laughs> <laughs> i think i think it's gonna be s minus for me and it's only S minus because I want to put teleport over it. They kind of do different things because you can also travel up with flight. Yeah. So I think both just solid S. Oh, yeah, yeah. I 100% agree. Zen's totally right. In terms of travel, I think there are two runes that top this category, and we'll see what you guys think later on with TP. Yeah, S. Yeah. S. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Oh, we got 10 votes. 10 votes on S all together. I think you are worse off using Featherfall than just running in, in terms of travel because you are a harder target on the ground, at least. True. I think yeah. that I agree with that. Uh, looks like we got some interesting votes in the chat. Everybody, let's see what your vote's going on right now. We got two votes for B, three votes for C. It looks like D is starting to get filled up a little bit. We got five votes there. It looks like Featherfall has landed itself in the D tier. Invisibility! All right, so this in recent patches got, uh, I think it was C CB2, they put a speed boost on it. So you do feel like you're not gonna get spotted and that you will probably get that, that engage. You'll probably be able to get the jump on them. Um, and like I said, it does give you a little bit of speed boost. So I think like for me, it feels like almost the same as, as Wolf's Blood. And I think for Wolf's Blood earlier, I, I voted it with a, um, a C. I, it's definitely better than Wolf worse than dash so i want to say b maybe high c yeah a okay a from muffin on invisibility one of your charges is charging while you're using invis because you got to think your sorcery cooldown is also a rune cooldown mm -hmm. so you have two rune cooldowns okay yep he's 100 right yeah, so, so you can almost have it up 100 percent of the time i feel like it's like 60 percent or something yeah okay low b high c from Zen, uh, we got A from Muffin and C from myself. Uh, it looks like that's the majority of votes. So we're gonna go ahead and put invisibility at the C tier for travel. So now we are moving to spring step. Travel isn't just horizontal. It's not just getting across the map. It's maybe grabbing some high ground. So you can do more levitation with the spring step, that's which I true. did that. I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna bump it up for me to just solid C instead of possibly B. All right, so that brings me and Zen to C. Uh, what are you thinking, Muffin? Uh, C. All right. With the votes from us in the chat, we have three, or us in the voice chat, we have three votes for B, three votes for D, and eight votes for C. So it looks like our spring step is going to be, I would say, a little bit below invisibility, but still in there as a very, very solid uh, C. T, P. We already talked about this one a little bit in anticipation for how good it's gonna be for travel. Uh, yeah, I think that it and flight kinda do similar, but also different things. Like, so I, I might even uh, say that they're equal to each other. Definitely both S, but maybe I wouldn't put TP over it because TP is not doing anything final circle where flight is the greatest rune final circle in my opinion. But uh, it looks like it's an overwhelming uh, majority, actually 11, 11 votes for uh, S tier. So TP is going up into the S tier rank for travel. We got Chronomancer. In my opinion, I'm gonna restate what I was saying earlier with combat mobility, but even more so with travel. It feels like negative movement to me. The D's have it. With 11 votes, uh, Chronomancer is going to the D. We're gonna move on to Shadow Step, which we, for some reason, did not rank, and I apologize for that. I I think it's B, um, only because Dash is on A, and it's definitely not Dash. Like, the, the cooldown is much uh, smaller. It's not bringing you as far. 
There's mm -hmm. no momentum carry. There's not much uh, That's synergy. It does give you a little bit of the security we were talking about when moving because you are not as visible, but um, it definitely, that's not enough for me personally to push it up to the A rank. We got 13 straight, like unanimous decision vote. It is going to be tier. Okay, Wolf's Blood. Overall, in terms of runes, the Wolf's Blood rune is ranked here today to be a C rune. So we got we got dash, and we're not relying completely on the averages. I think, like I agree with Zen. I think it should be an S. And even if it, the S rank overall doesn't necessarily coincide with the average of what we ranked here, it was still a great conversation we had about the strengths and weaknesses, and letting people see where the strength of of dash really really shines. So in the S slot where it belongs, its home is here. So we got yeah. flight. I think it's A tier for sure. Okay. It's definitely the rune that you, I think I think you see it the most among new players for sure, mm -hmm. but it, it even has competitive potential. A from everybody in the chat. And uh, it does a lot of things great. It has some things that it doesn't do as well, but overall it feels like a solid, solid choice for A. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we are moving on to Featherfall, oh gosh, dude. Uh, I think it's C, because it's just very situational. I think from what the chat's saying, we're gonna, we're gonna land it on C, all right? It's subject to change, but for right now, Featherfall, you can sit beside Wolf's Blood as our C tier. Invisibility, it just makes it to, uh, to A. So maybe, maybe people will start using this and, and start showing us that it's even stronger than we thought it was before. Shadow step. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. I think we all agree. We're going. To, we're, we're we're settling on S. It's pretty solid. Everybody seems to think. I mean, come on. Everybody knows this. Spring step. Let's see what happens, dude. This is a super fun rune to play. I'm I'm anxious to see where it lands. With two in C and one in A. I mean, it's got to be a low B for me. I think that it's A because we have invis on A. And I'm not, I'm not taking an invis over a spring step, like in a, in a 1v1 situation, Facts. I need to be able to quickly move, you know? I think for now, unless we get some objections later on, it looks like the majority are, is sitting with A. We made a rule that we are talking about TP as if there was no bug. So you can always TP and it's never going to give you an invalid target. I kind of want to go back on that invis. I think that invis is B because I, I hate to put invis next to TP. I've been thinking the same thing. Kind of settled on this. This feels right. Fix order greatest to least in final chart. Let me read it left to right, not the other way around. So you want the, the, the strongest ones on the left then? We can do that. You could even uh, go back and like later change the chart to like put a plus and minus at the top. So we are on the last one, you guys. We are on Chronomancer. Oh, Lord. Oh, jeez. There's a reason I left this one for last. So, I mean, I guess I'd be willing to do C. I think that's kind of where I was I was landing on. Um, Zen wants to go with B. Muffin, what are you thinking? Um, I'll say C. As long as nobody's going to throw a complete fit, and if you do, I don't care. We're, we're putting it on B. I think it's a good, solid, it's on the door of C but it, it made itself into B. At the end of almost three hours, oh, <laughs> come, three hours. To, <laughs> <laughs> come to a conclusion of our rune tier list, ladies and gentlemen. So these tier lists would change every patch, you guys. Um, every time the, a patch comes out, we are going to be going over the patch. We'll do a patch notes video, and then we will do a new tier list video a week later after the patch has been live for a week. <laughs>